What's up and welcome to The Cap, the place we always keep you in the conversation. Today, 21 is the magic number, Mother Nature is winning Oakmont, and a fun way to slide into the weekend. All that more, it's time to get capped, let's go. Twenty-one is the magical number of the day, so let's jump right into it. The Grateful Dead was formed in 1965 in Palo Alto, California, and led by Jerry Garcia. They were one of the greatest rock bands ever, and 21 years ago, they announced their separation. In Las Vegas, Blackjack, or 21, is a card game where the player competes against the dealer, and if you want to sip an old-fashioned while you're playing, you guessed it, 21. And last night in Seattle at Century League Field, the U.S. men's national soccer team was staring at the number 21 because it had been 21 years since the U.S. had gotten to semifinals in the Copa America. But thankfully, now that slate can be wiped clean because the U.S. beat Ecuador 2-1 thanks to some masterful coaching decisions by Jurgen Klinsmann. Superstar Clint Dempsey had a goal and an assist, and the LA Galaxy's Gaiasi Zardes had the game-winning go-ahead goal. Now the U.S. moves on to Houston in the semifinals to meet either Venezuela or Argentina in a possible matchup with Messi. The bad news for the U.S., they have three players suspended. But if they keep playing like this, it doesn't matter. Nothing can stop them. On to basketball. Game six of the NBA Finals in Cleveland turned out to be a pretty rough night for Golden State and an even rougher night for the Curry family. The Cavs beat the Warriors 115-101, while MVP Steph Curry fouled out for the first time since December 2013 and received his first ejection ever. His wife, Aisha, she wasn't too happy about it and expressed her views on Twitter, while his coach Steve Kerr still supported him. On the other side of the ball, LeBron James had his second consecutive 40-plus point game, while J.R. Smith threw in 14 points. But his daughter, she was just happy dad made the championship game before getting kicked off the team. Now they all move back to Oracle on Sunday for Game 7 to decide it all. And I still like the Warriors to raise up the trophy again. On the diamond in Oakland, Rangers pitcher Colby Lewis had a stellar no-hitter through eight innings. That was until Max Muncy broke it up with a leadoff double in the bottom of the ninth. Nevertheless, Lewis's performance was still enough as the Rangers beat the A's 5-1. And over in Philadelphia, a Phillies fan made the catch of the night. That's right, a dad holding his daughter and a tray of food snagged a foul ball. But his great catch still wasn't enough to help the home team pull through as the Blue Jays beat the Phillies 13-2. On to Oakmont for the U.S. Golf Championship, where two unlikely figures have dominated the first round. Mother Nature has absolutely drenched the place, and Andrew Landry, the 624th ranked golfer in the world who's never broken 68 on the PGA Tour before, shot a first round 66 to top an incredibly pedestrian and mundane leaderboard. Now let's hope guys like Jason, Jordan, and Rory start making moves fast and make this tournament more interesting. And finally, in today's corporate capital, Mark Cuban and Ashton Kutcher are two of the smartest minds in sports and entertainment. Cuban owns the Dallas Mavericks, while Kutcher got in on the ground floor of tech companies like Airbnb and Uber. The two of them recently sat on the panel for the show Shark Tank when Steve and Angela Watts walked in to introduce Slide Handboards, a small lightweight surfboard that just fits on your hand. After the two heard the pitch, Cuban said this is a perfect compliment for his tower paddle boards, while Kutcher said, this is cool because you guys are cool. The two sharks split a $200,000 investment and now have a 22% ownership in the company with the Watts. So after being trapped under the swell, holding their breath for years and just trying to keep their company afloat, I guess that's definitely one way to ride the wave. That's it for us today. I'm Brooke Lander and you've been Cap.